Howdy, howdy, everybody. Fusion Simulations here. Today, we're going to go over a few of the console commands available on the PC version. Um, since we, at the time of recording anyway, don't have things like the additional settings or easy development controls to easily set some of this stuff. So uh, while we wait, uh, which hopefully won't be too long, uh, I thought I would uh, show you guys how you can, uh, how you first enable the console commands, development commands um, to make available in your game. And then we will cover uh, a few of the kind of uh, mainstays, if you will, of uh, messing with the console controls. So first, in order to enable uh, it is it is de disabled by default. So what you do is open up your file explorer. You will go to your documents, my games, farming simulator 22, <laughs> and you will scroll down and you want to look for game.xml. Uh, if you don't have the uh, extensions uh, shown, um, you can just look for game. And you want to open it up. Uh, I am using a program called Note++. I highly, highly re recommend uh, you get it if you don't already, because it just displays XML files way cleaner uh, than standard, note, uh, standard Notepad. So once you have it open, you'll come down to the development section, and there's a controls. Now, like I said, it will probably look like this for you. It's false. Just change this to true. And I don't uh, I don't think you need to mess with any of this. I didn't mess with mine. And then you hit save. And that's it. Now you can proceed to open up your game. So we will see you in the game. All right, guys. So we're in the game. And we're first going to cover uh, one of the definite, definite priorities you need to make with uh, taking good screenshots if uh, you would like to. Um, as you can see now, we're just in our standard field of vision. And we are going to change that. So what you do is you open up your console commands. And to do that, you hit the tilde key, which is the little squiggly line next to the one. And you'll see you first get uh, the most recent uh, log file commands or recent commands you have entered. Enter, hit enter again. Uh, sorry, the tilde key again and you'll see a little number sign. So in order to change the FOV, we type in GS, camera, that, sorry, F of camera with a capital C, FOV with a capital F, and set with a capital S. And if you don't type it correctly, you will get an error on you, command not found, because it is case sensitive. So GS camera, oops, F O V set, and then you enter some number, um, whatever you want. Uh, we'll just do 45 to start. Uh, sorry, I think I was already on 30, so that's why I did it. Um, so let's actually demonstrate this. If you want to reset, you just type in GS camera, F O V set, and then negative one. And that'll reset to whatever uh, field of vision you set in your initial game settings. Now, if you want to change it, you can type it in again. Or you can hit the up arrow, and it will show you your last command. So now I'm going to change it to 30. And then you hit the tilde key again to get rid of the console command uh, screen. So there you go. Now we're zoomed in. If we can get some... Nice screenshots from outside of the vehicle. And then now I messed up, so I do apologize. Uh, let me. So the field of vision settings are player and vehicle specific. So um, I actually messed up on my recording. Uh, so I had it already set. So this is how I would get into the vehicle. Even though I had already set the field of vision to 30. Uh, when I was outside, it sets it to whatever it was when I was last in this vehicle. So we just hit the up arrow to get our command. And now we will change it to 30. 
And now we can get some epic screenshots of my mustachioed man. There you go. Uh, and I do know that there is a, a camera mod, vehicle camera mod, that was released by Wapster. I actually haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. Uh, it may do the exact same thing, but likely only when you're in a vehicle. So um, this is just an alternate way of doing that. All right. So now let's get out, and we will do the next very critical thing that you should do if you want to get very good cinematics or screenshots, um, or if you just don't like the clutter of the HUD. Uh, and frankly, I don't know why uh, Giants didn't include this as uh, some kind of option or hotkey. Uh, at least I haven't seen it as one. So, And that is removing the HUD. So again, we hit our tilde key a second time. And you do GS. Again, case sensitive, HUD with a capital H. And visibility with a capital V. And then you hit enter. And that's it. And then it will give you a warning saying it's disabled. Use GS HUD visibility to enable again. So now our HUD is gone. And if we want to bring it back up, you can type it in again, or again, hit the up arrow, get your last command, hit your enter key, and now you have your HUD back. So with those two things, you can definitely get some good, good cinematics, good screenshots while you're playing. And the other one that is very cool for getting good screenshots and good cinematics, especially with workers or with the hopefully eventual release of course play, is being able to fly. So again, we bring up our console command. GS, player with a capital P, light, whoops, with a capital F, mode, capital M. And you hit enter, and now we are good to go. Hit console, hit the tilde key again. And then, actually, let's bring this back up. So it says you use J to toggle flying or not, and then your Q and E keys to change the altitude. So if I hit Q and E, I can't fly. I hit J, wee. Now I'm flying. And then again, you could do the HUD visibility to turn the HUD off. And then you may want to set your field of vision. Mine was already at 30. And then you can fly around. There you go. All right, and then we can have a little fun and go really high. And then hit J and we fall. <laughs> All right. Uh, the other nice one, let me turn my HUD on so we can see this, because I think it gets disabled, I'm not sure, is uh, showing your FPS. So if you are messing with your graphics settings you and you want to know uh, exactly what kind of frames you're getting with uh, each tweak you make, you can show that in the game. Of course, there are tools uh, such as Fraps and... Um, that's the only one that's coming to mind. But yeah, lots of lots of third-party tools, of course, but you can do it in-game as well. Bring up your console by hitting... Oh, let me get out of here. Hitting tilde twice. And then you simply type show, F, and then P and S are lowercase. And then true. Uh, you need to type true. Yes, you do need to type true. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, show FPS. Yes, okay, yes, you do. Some of these you have to put a uh, Boolean condition on it, and sometimes you don't. There we go. So I'm at 60 frames, and you may notice I'm at exactly 60 frames because it is, by default, locked at 60. But don't worry, you can disable that. So you bring up your command again. Enable. Frame, rate, limit, false. And now I'm at 90 frames, 80 frames. So 
Simple as that. And then some of these other ones, let me turn this off. Show FPS. False. Oops. Oh, I mistyped false, but it took it anyway. Funny. All right. Um, so when you are setting up a game or if you're doing a role play, again, this is all uh, under the current condition of um, easy development controls not being out. So uh, this video will have some irrelevance uh, shortly, hopefully. Um, but say you want to, uh, you know, drop out some food or grains or fertilizer or whatever, and you want to pile it on the ground, manure, whatever you want, um, any of the uh, typical fruit types, you can do that with GS pip anywhere. Again, case sensitive. Pip anywhere add. Now, I'm not going to finish it so that we can see. It's a little hard to read, um, but it says that you need to also provide the fill type name, the amount, length, rows, and spacing. Um, I messed around with this a little bit, and I don't know why you would do the length, rows, and spacing. You actually don't have to provide those, um, but I'll demonstrate what happens if you do. So we'll do GS. Actually, we will do our hotkey, and now we will dump some wheat on the ground, and we will do 10,000 liters, and we'll hit enter. And now I'm standing on a pile of wheat. And again, you can do uh, manure. And now I am bathing in a pool of stinky manure. And I believe you can do all of the different, like tomatoes and lettuce and boards and fabric. Uh, I saw tarp was an option. Um, so all the production stuff, pretty much all of it, probably not slurry because that's not exactly typical, but um, yeah. Uh, and then this, the whole spacing length thing, um, it's kind of interesting. I will do a quick demonstration of that. Let's do wheat again. Actually, no, let's do grapes. And we're going to do like 50,000 liters. And then... We're going to do a length of five in two rows and a spacing of five. Uh, what did I? Oh, grape, not grapes. Grape. Now, if we come out, uh, well, I didn't quite get it right, my spacing, but you can kind of see there's a little dip there. If you do it right, it will put them in like rows basically let's try that again and let's try my spacing at like 15 there you go so now it dumped it into two big piles so pretty interesting uh not sure why you may want to do that but it is an option and then lastly how do you get rid of all this if you don't uh if you're not going to actually scoop it up and it's maybe just a, a role play element uh, and then you want to actually get rid of it the easy way, you walk up to your pile. Actually, you don't actually have to be close because you provide the command GS tip anywhere clear. And then you provide a size and I believe it is in meters squared. Um, so if I just do like two, it says cleared area, uh, and it didn't really clear much. Let's try a little larger area here. Let's do 10. 10. So you can see it got rid of some of the pile. So if you've got big piles everywhere like this, you can do something like 100, or let's do 500. And I should have gotten most of it, if all of it. Yep, and now I got rid of all of it. So there you go. Just a quick little video to show you guys some of the simple commands. Um, 
that will hopefully, like I said, be uh, replaced and made much easier by the easy development controls mod or additional settings. But uh, in the meantime, this is what you can do. Um, I do want to end it on a pretty cool thing that I found when I was looking at all the commands. Um, there's a benchmark feature, um, but there's an odd little bug to it. So if we look here, I currently only own this field. We'll come back to that in a second. So benchmark. GS. Bench. Mark. And now it is going to take us through a... I think it's about, I didn't time it exactly, 30, 45 second little uh, fly through, which is a pretty cool way to get some uh, sneaky way to get some good uh, opening footage of your map. I'd be really curious to see if this is something that has to be implemented on a mod map or like, can it just work and the game figures out where it should go? Um, that would be, that'd be really, something really cool to find out. So we're making a nice little fly through through the town. Um, there's another bug coming up, which I'll show you. It says that it will show um, field work, uh, but it tries to show a corn silage harvest um, with only a header and a trailer and no harvester. <laughs> uh, so here we go. There's our trailer. Actually, that's just a bale trailer. I just noticed. And a header. Chopper. I'm guessing we're supposed to be following a harvester going through the field. So I'm going to see if I can end it. I don't think I can. Nope. Okay. Bear with me while this plays out. We'll come back as soon as it's done, and I can show you uh, the odd, the other odd bug back to the whole land thing. So it's repeating it again, just much faster this time. I guess the tax man came and collected that harvester. And we're done. And I'm plopped down now in a field of corn. So let me get out of here. Uh, and I don't think, yep, and there's our trailer and our header. <laughs> uh, very strange. Um, now the other thing to check out here is now look at the map. I did not do anything other than run that benchmark. And now I own everything. And I thought, surely it's just showing me this as some kind of weird bug just on that screen. But if I go run over to another field, which I will cut to right now, you can see now I am in field three. And field info says it is owned by me. So that's an interesting one. So do be careful uh, running that benchmark uh, if you're trying to play us, you know, somewhat realistically or realistically where you're uh, actually buying your fields. Um, if you want to just have a go at it and play like mad and own everything, um, then there is a free way to buy every single plot of land. And that is it for now. Uh, like I said, this is uh, at the time of recording the, the easy development mod additional settings mod and any other, uh, you know, HUD changing mods or field of vision mods or anything like that uh, haven't been released. So uh, this is hopefully just a stopgap. Uh, and this is also, of course, only going to work on PC. Um, I also play on, on PlayStation 5, so I really wish I could do this there as well. But alas, uh, someday maybe Sony will... Uh, loosen up a little bit on that stuff so uh, there are quite a few other mods uh, sorry console commands 
that I can show you. Um, I will show those in a second upcoming video. Um, the caveat with some of those is that uh, you have to enable cheat, um, which I'll demonstrate in the video. Um, so it's a bit unfortunate on some of those things um, that they don't just work all the time. Um, but it is what it is. So I hope you found this help, uh, helpful and informative. Uh, please leave a like if you did like the video. And definitely leave a comment with uh, any questions, any comments. Uh, if you guys know other commands that I uh, did not include, there are a bunch, um, but should have uh, been highlighted, do let me know. Uh, and I will certainly try to point those out in an upcoming video. And also, please subscribe if you enjoyed my content and would like to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Adios for now.